We've all heard of 3D films with 3D pictures, but what about sound? Even with stereo or surround sound, we do not get a fully realistic representation of how sound is heard in the real world. The only way to get close to replicating the way we perceive sound, with two ears, is by using a special recording rig like this. By using this rig, sound changes from this to this. All the sound you'll hear in this video has been recorded in this way. Welcome to Cardiff for Christmas, and welcome to the world of final audio. The Brainwork software sound is coming from in two main ways. Firstly, it assesses the difference in sound levels between the two ears. A sound over here will sound louder in my left ear than in my right. We call these interaural level differences. Secondly, the same sound will arrive at the left ear slightly before it arrives at the right ear. We call these interaural time differences. Level differences are produced by the head, which acts as a barrier between the two ears. We call this the head shadow. On our rig there are discs designed to replicate the head shadow, but the effect is much more complex in the real world. But people who can only hear in one ear are also able to localise sound. So how is this done? The final way we localise sound is by analysing the actual nature of the sound itself. The visible part of the ear, the pinna, has lots of folds and creases which colour the sound and give clues about where it's come from. The pinna is particularly important for telling whether sounds come from above or below and from in front or behind. That is why our recording rig incorporates rather realistic outer ear models. Interestingly, we have a choice in terms of how we orient our head, which changes the way that sound reaches our ears. Research that we recently conducted has shown that speech intelligibility in noise is significantly improved by turning an ear towards the person speaking. If we now turn the ears of our rig, you should hear that my voice becomes easier to pick out from the ambient noise. It is better to have a clear signal in one ear than a mediocre signal in both. Bye.